Welcome to this review on Winlands 2, which uh, just came out on the Oculus Quest 2. Um, here to basically give you a real brief sort of uh, mini review of the game. Um, overall, I uh, really enjoyed this. Um, I was actually surprised. I was ready to, I'm always ready to hit refund if I don't like it, but I found myself strangely uh, addicted to it. Uh, not really thinking it was my type of game, but it is actually a lot of fun. Um, so what is it? What are, you, what are you looking for when you're playing this game? Well, first of all, uh, I will tell you this isn't like uh, an action shooter. Um, what it does provide is a huge world. Um, there are quests. Uh, sometimes you have to collect parts. This is one of the persons you'll have to talk to. Um, you have to uh, collect parts. Other times you have to go on uh, uh, missions where you got to kill these robots that have basically invaded this nice little world. That's the main theme. Uh, so there's not a lot of huge, lot of lore or anything like that. The main part, though, is the swinging. And you have to connect to these, I guess they're mushrooms or whatever they are. Uh, you can't connect to anything else. So this is uh, sort of the main part of the game, which is, to me, <laughs> I can just do this for... Uh, you know a long time it's a lot of fun what's really surprising to me though is um it's sort of like a i, I guess we would call it like a zen type of feel where um you know you may uh you may just want to swing around and i enjoy that part of the game uh, the most so if you enjoy that if you want like a spider-man type of thing uh this is definitely the game for you it's not like i said a huge action game you're not going to like be shooting a lot of things you will have missions where you got to go kill some robots and stuff like that but the main part again again is swinging around and sort of this zen like uh feel that you get um if you drop down into the abyss that's even sort of interesting uh they have checkpoints which you see right here these are very useful and it's sort of nice that if you're a long way into a mission or something and you die you don't have to go all the way back so use those checkpoints uh wisely another thing i found too which is interesting uh, there will be certain parts of the map where you actually have to jump a little bit. So, like, let's there'll be like let's say right here that um, platform. You might have to jump rather than swing to get up there. So, there's uh, certain episodes where, which I found a little bit interesting where you need to also jump. Uh, you can jump actually a long ways. Um, here, let me uh, swing down here. Um, you can actually jump quite a, a long ways if you get like I could probably make this crevice here let's see yeah see I was able to get over there so keep in mind there's also jumping but the main thing like I said is swinging around these vines it's a huge world uh, it's an interesting world there's uh, lots of villages and um, some different biomes so again this is more like a peaceful type of game I would say um, if you're looking for some big shooter and all that stuff no this isn't gonna be your game but if you don't mind uh, swinging around on some, um, I guess we would call those vines or mushrooms. I don't know what they are. Uh, you can only connect to these green mushrooms. I don't even know what these are again. Uh, so you have to sort of uh, use them wisely, I would say. But you'll get used to it. Um, one thing you want to do is use your forward motion. You're tempted to sort of hold on to them. But as you can see here, it's better just to sort of connect and let go, connect to the next one, and you can move around a lot easier uh, doing that rather than hold on to it. And they'll talk about that in the tutorial. You can see here we have this really cool city, which goes way up there, by the way. I was exploring that earlier. So I highly recommend this game. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I'm going to play through some of the harder difficulties. I actually started out on an easier difficulty. But you can see here it's just like a massive world, lots to explore. And um, if you, again, if you like sort of just swinging around and acting like Spider-Man, you'll definitely enjoy this. If you are looking for some massive shooter and you're not really into the zen-like feel, uh, you might not. But again, I actually was re ready to hit the refund button. No, I didn't. I kept it. And uh, I just like doing kind of this for a while sometimes. I don't even need to complete the missions. Um, it's just sort of fun to see how far I can go without falling down. And you will fall down. Uh, you know, you will fall down into these crevices several times. One thing that's nice, um, you really can't get lost. I heard some complaints people get lost. You can see right there they've got a way marker. And uh, so you just follow those, and it kind of tells you where to go. So you really can't get lost. Another complaint I, I, I heard was people didn't like you had to connect only to these green things. I actually find that challenging. I actually enjoyed that. I don't understand that complaint at all. Um, I think it would be too easy if you could latch onto everything. I think it, this makes it a little bit more difficult and interesting. Um, if you could latch onto everything, well, 
that wouldn't be so fun. So here you can see I'm dropping down to the abyss, and then you're thrown back to wherever your waypoint was, which happened to be right here. So uh, once again, um, if you're into this type of thing, I think you will really enjoy it. If you are a big action guy, no. Um, but you can see here I'm swinging around. Sometimes I, I like to see how far I can go without falling down into the abyss. Um, but again, that forward momentum is pretty big. Like you can, like you see, I almost landed on that platform. Sometimes you will need to do that. You'll need to like either jump or um, swing right into it and use your forward momentum. That actually is the real challenge, I think, to this game. Is sometimes you have to get to places which are not easy. They made it just enough. Uh, they made it probably challenging enough to the point where it gets really fun sometimes when you have to figure out how do I get up there. And uh, you can see here I'm doing pretty well. I've gotten used to this. It's almost like you're George in the jungle or something. Oh, oh, see, I missed, and there you go. And sometimes you fall down. You might be able to get out of here. Uh, you just got to work your way back up. Um, sometimes you can't. You can see there I was able to get off that crevice. Okay. And then you're back in shape, and you can use these green things, as I call them, to sort of move around quick. Okay, well, that is the game in a nutshell. I think I gave you a little bit of a look at it. Um, there's a lot more in terms of quests. Um, you can do the quests, or you can kind of just explore the world, whatever you want to do. It's a lot of fun, though, and again, thanks for watching the channel.